forgiveness ages you. So remember that. Like, listen, if I don't forgive them, I'm going to look 70 at 50, okay? Or I'm going to look 40 at 30. So, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Hey girl, hey, I'm Sky and Janae. Welcome and welcome back. Let's jump right to this video. Listen, <laughs> first you need to realize and acknowledge if you have even forgiven somebody. A lot of times we say we forgive a, forgive a person, but let somebody bring up the situation. Let somebody bring up that person. If your face is frowned up, if you keep thinking about the situation, if you keep thinking about what they did, if you can't find anything good to say about them, then sis, you have not forgiven them, okay? You kind of just put it in the back of your mind. Like, forgiveness is something that's in your heart, not something you just think, okay, I forgive them. No, you have to actually do it in your heart. And once you've acknowledged that you have not forgiven them, which that is a hard thing, a hard pill to swallow because you could be, like I said, thinking that you forgave this person. And once you realize that you haven't, it could you could feel bad or maybe not I don't know but me personally when I realize that I have forgiven someone I do feel bad about it because I know myself that if I don't forgive others then God will not forgive me and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do that okay <laughs> so you really need to work on that in your heart so the easy one of the easiest ways you can do that is to remember that forgiveness is not for them it is for you because like i said if you don't forgive the father will not forgive you and also forgiveness is just it, it's too much to hold on to things when we have life to live we don't need to worry about and harbor on the things of the past because it was in the past it happened just move on and also it's going to clog your mind it's going to give you a sour attitude about the person, about the situation. And maybe you can like even connect it to a place. Like it can be so many things that can go wrong when you don't forgive. So remembering that it is for you and not for them because you ain't trying to have all of that on you. you we're too pretty. We are feminine women. We are Christians. We don't need to have that, that ugliness on us. Okay. And it ages you. Unforgiveness ages you. So remember that like Listen, if I don't forgive them, I'm going to look 70 at 50, okay? Or I'm going to look 40 at 30. So remember, try to think of things like that because forgiveness, again, is not for the person. It is for you. Also, the Christian thing to do. The Bible says we need to forgive 70 times, 7 times. But also, how many times does God forgive you for things that you know you should not be doing? A lot of times, people hurt you, it's by mistake. You do things that you know you should not be doing and it's going to upset God. And how many times does he forgive you? Every single time. So we need to walk with that mindset of forgiveness because we're supposed to. We are made in God's image. So we should have a mind like God. We should be working every day to have a mind like Jesus. So pray for them. That way it's help. it'll help you forgive them and you're doing the Christian thing. I know it's hard to be like, oh, well, they wronged me. Why would I be praying for them? Because you need to. Because clearly that person may have done something and it may have been out of character or they probably didn't mean to. Or they may be going through something and just not have thought about it. So you need to pray for them because that is the Christian thing to do. It's the right thing to do. And we're supposed to do everything with love. And we are supposed to love our neighbors as ourselves. So <laughs> if you did something, you want people to pray for you. So pray for them. Give them that. Give it to God to help them in the situation, help you in the situation, and just give it to him because he's the only one who can You can't change their mind. You can't do anything about what they did to you. All you can do is pray for them. You can't try to understand why they did it. That's that's really, I don't even believe in closure, but that's not going to help the situation. It's not going to change the fact that whatever happened, happened, and you need to move on for that. So prayer helps with that. Listen, this one I know is also going to be hard on top of praying for them, but try to find the good in them. Try to find the good in the situation. It could be the smallest thing, but that small, tiny thing will help you realize, okay, it wasn't as bad or I shouldn't be as mad or 
whatever it is, something very small or it could be big, but try to find something positive to say about the person, about the situation. At the end of the day, all things that happen to us, God is going to use to work for our good. That could be something like, okay, God is going to use this for my good. That could be something that could apply in every situation. Or this could be something like, oh, this is going to be a great testimony. It could also be something like, oh, well, I got through it. You know, try to find something good in the situation. That way you're not just focused on the negative and how you felt. Our feelings and our heart are deceitful. We can't go on feelings. We need to just release those things give them to God and find the positive in that situation. So I do want to mention that, yes, you should be forgiving others, but it's time to forgive yourself too. Listen, homegirl, <laughs> I'm the first, I'm the first to admit that I have like been very hard on myself when it comes to a lot of things, but I learned to forgive myself. You have to forgive. Forgiveness, again, like I said, it's not for the other person. It's for you. That applies to when you do things that you don't like. It applies when you disappoint God, when you disappoint a friend, or when you say something that you probably shouldn't have said. You need to forgive yourself for it. Okay? Just like the reason I said forgiveness aids you and, and it has a negative effect on you mentally, that applies to when you aren't forgiving yourself. In fact, I feel like it hinders you more when you don't forgive yourself for things because you're always going to be trying to perfect something. You're always going to be looking at the negative or when you did something wrong or it's just going to stress you out because you're not going to be focused on moving forward. You're going to be focused on the fact that, oh, I did this back then. Back then happened. It's in the past. You need to let it go because it has nothing to do with your future. So giving yourself grace in that aspect really helps you because you're not, like I said, you're not going to be so focused on the things that you said or did or caused harm to people. Yes, it happened. Apologize to that person. Apologize to yourself. <laughs> and give it to God and move on, okay? <laughs> Once you learn how to forgive yourself, it's easier to forgive others. That's why I wanted to say this because when people talk about forgiveness, a lot of times it's forgiving other people. But I personally think it's easier to forgive other people than it is to forgive yourself because if you're like me, you hold yourself to a higher, a high standard. And so when you do things that don't, don't live up to what you think you could do or the person that you are. So you've said something and it doesn't match the person that you want to be or the person that you are. You can really like be hard on yourself. Like I know that was a case for me in a lot of situations where I said something, did something. And I'm just like, girl, this is not you. And I would just be so disappointed in myself and I will hold on to that. And I will use that as my measurement of how to be better when no, I already know who I am. I know it was a mistake. I know all of these things. So I needed to learn how to not focus on that and focus on the fact that, okay, it happened. I know better now because that's the whole point of it. Like you move on and you become better from whatever situation, whatever you did. That's no point to hold on to it because it happened. It's in the past. And like I said, God, is gonna, God forgave you the minute after it happened. So why are you still holding on to those things? So if you are someone in this current moment who is having a hard time forgiving themselves for something or forgiving another person for someone, I'm telling you right now, it's okay. Like whatever happened, it's okay. Don't dwell on it. I actually, I just, I feel like I want to pray right now for you because we are all going through things. Things have been done to us. We've done things to other people and it's hard to move on. So let's just close our eyes because I do want to say a quick prayer for you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us in your presence. Thank you for allowing me to speak to your daughters. Thank you for allowing them to click on this video in, in order to heal themselves. Lord, I ask you, whatever this person watching it under the sound of my voice is going through, whatever thing they're holding on to their heart, whatever things that are hindering them from moving on, Lord, I ask that you release it from them. Release them from the shackles of that unforgiveness. Remove that spirit of unforgiveness from their heart. Allow them to flourish and move forward, to rebuild connections, rebuild relationships with themselves and whoever it is that may have caused them harm, Lord. Let them know that whatever they're going through right now, whatever situation they're holding on to, it is over. 
you have forgiven them. It's in the past and you are making them anew moving forward, Lord. I thank you for allowing them to come to you and be in your presence. Thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to speak this over them, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I hope that this video encouraged you and this video is going to help you become better and become someone who has a forgiving heart because at the end of the day like I said forgiveness is not healthy and it's not the Christian thing to do and re play, the, pl <laughs> play back the prayer so that you can really get it in your spirit so that you can feel better and God can really remove that spirit of unforgiveness because at the end of the day that is a spirit that's attached to you and you need to remove it. Thank you so, so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Make sure you watch this video next, either one of these videos next. And I will see you all in my next video. Make sure you give me some thumbs up, leave me a comment, and yeah.